let's consider the domain of this function. Among different types of questions covering domain and range seen in the exam. To solve this function, let's consider some basic rule. In one, zero is not allowed at the denominator of a function, but zero is allowed at the numerator. Zero is allowed in a square root if zero is at the numerator. Zero is not allowed in the square root at the denominator. Negative is not allowed inside the square root, whether if it is at the numerator or at the denominator. However, inside the cube root, negative is allowed. With these rules in mind, for a rational expression inside a square root, you solve for the numerator and you also solve for the denominator equating both to zero. However, for a rational expression inside a cube root, you equate only the denominator to zero. However, at the denominator, this will not be equal to zero. And this will also not be equal to zero. But for the numerator, it can be equal to zero. Hence, let's solve this problem according to the rule. For the numerator, x can be equal to zero. But at the denominator, x cannot be equal to zero. Next, we put these two answers together. In our final answer, x can take all real number towards negative infinity and towards positive infinity and can accept zero at the numerator but will not accept zero at the denominator and the two statements will be joined with union this is our final answer and this mathematical statement will make this function continue you can check out other topics in precalculus to locate and assess other videos you can follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video.